meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Oh, we have had a storm free stretch of weather and it continues through the end of the work week and things change at least for part of the weekend. Let's take a look currently outside and we've got the sun shining in East Providence and not a bad afternoon as far as January goes to get out and, and take a walk, run those errands. The temperature is certainly warmer and a big difference here is the wind direction. This west southwest wind is going to help to bring those temperatures up and we're feeling about and are about 10 degrees warmer this afternoon than what we had yesterday. So that puts us into the 40s. Providence, Smithfield, New Bedford. We're 44 in Plymouth and Hyannis. Boston's already into the middle 40s. And we're back to the freezing mark in Springfield. With, we're in the single digits this morning, so even there, it's a nice boost in the temperatures compared to the last few days. This is just the beginning of a milder stretch. It'll last through the weekend. We are tracking some rainfall for Saturday. It arrives in the afternoon and will fall heavy at times during the evening and the early part of the night. And then it does look drier for Sunday, so the storm tracks changed a little bit over the last couple of days trending more north and we'll look, talk about what that means for Saturday in just a moment. But let's talk about the rest of it today. Dry, mostly sunny, pleasant three o'clock temperature around 45, five o'clock in the evening near 40 and tonight will be cool. We will fall back below freezing with overnight lows in the mid to upper 20s and that happens around five, six o'clock tomorrow morning just before the sun comes up. High pressure that's been keeping us dry is going to get uh, Moved further out to sea, making way for the stormy weather from snow over the Great Lakes to some heavy rain and even some severe storms in the deep south. These areas of low pressure will gradually move eastward and affect our weather heading into the second half of Saturday. So starting off tomorrow morning under mainly clear skies, clouds will be on the increase later in the day and overnight, but we stay dry even Saturday morning, making it through morning activities without any weather related issues. And then it is just rain for us. Look at this storm track. So this low pressure is going to track right over land as it lifts up through central New England, it brings some warm air with it. So that rain snow line is pushed all the way up into the highest elevations of northern New England. So up through Vermont and New Hampshire and the white and green mountains, they're going to get some snow. But across the Worcester Hills, the Berkshires, this is mainly going to be a rain event. That rain will be heaviest before midnight, tapering to some lighter showers. And most of that precip is well up to the north of us and east of us by Sunday morning. So about an inch of rain, most of that falling Saturday evening in the early part of Saturday night. It does turn a little on the windy side. Wind gusts 25 to 35 miles per hour. No snow. Nothing to shovel, no accumulations to worry about in that seven day forecast. We're in the 40s again today, tomorrow, Saturday. As for Sunday, it starts off very mild temperatures near 40. Can't rule out just an isolated shower by most of the day. Going to be dry and breezy. And next week looks seasonable. Highs in the upper 